Hello there my friends, hope you all are having a fantastic day right now. In this video, we shall be automating a simple game. So let's get started. So the game that we are going to be automating is this one right here. And this is my Android screen. And this game is called Doodle Cricket and it's a really fun game to automate. So in this game, you have got to press this button, yellow button, so that you can strike the ball when it has been bowled. And when you strike the ball you get some runs and this 349 right here is the high score that the automated code could get in this game so that's a pretty good score and it's really difficult to get if you are playing it by yourself so now let's run the script and see how it actually plays the game so cd f and Yeah, it's that and it's running. So let's see what's happening on the screen. So as you can see, this guy is wildly swinging the bat and that's really fast. So this swinging is taking place every 0 0.075 seconds, which means every 75 milliseconds we are having a swing and that's really good if you want to score a lot of runs in this game and yep so as you can see he's scoring really well and that's that so if you leave this he'll go on to score a lot of runs and yep i guess you got a basic idea of how this game works so let's go ahead and write the script for this game so in order to get started with writing the automation script you have got to install the android sdk and this is required so that you can interact with your android device and you can write commands to carry out operations like swiping or tapping on your android device from a remote computer so you need to install the android sdk and i'll probably leave the link for the download in the description nevertheless you can just type android sdk download on google and you can easily download it so once you have downloaded and extracted android sdk it should look something like this and in android sdk you have this folder called tools and there is a program called monkey runner over here and monkey runner is used to interact with your android device as i said using different commands so we are going to use this monkey runner to tap rapidly on the yellow button so that the insect swings his bat every 75 milliseconds so that's what we are going to do and in order to get monkey runner to work you've got to get this monkey runner 26.0.0 dev that is the jar file and you can find this file in lib folder of tools so just copy that and paste it in the bin so that you can get monkey runner to work so let's create a new python file and i'll call it something like crick underscore automation and once we have got this file we can go ahead and start writing our code so the code is really simple it is just about six lines of code let's first import the two modules from monkey runner so from com dot android dot monkey runner import monkey device and we'll also need monkey runner so let's get that too and we will also need to import time because we will be needing to use time dot sleep so the first thing that we will be doing in this program is that we will be connecting to the device and in order to do that monkey runner has a function called wait for connection so all we have got to do is create a variable called device and set it to monkey runner dot wait for connection and this should connect android device that you have connected to your computer using a USB. So once we have got the information about the device, we can start our infinite while loop. And we need this because 
we need to keep on sending tabs one after the other so that should be in a loop and inside this loop we have got to tap on that button using the touch function which is a property of this device so device dot touch and it takes some arguments the first one being the x and y coordinates of where we want to touch or tap so if you look at the screen i have got the coordinates of this button right here and 538x and 1761y we have just got to put in those numbers here so 538 comma 1761 so these are the x and y coordinates of where the button is located and we want another argument that is how the touch should be so we want taps so that can be indicated by using the string down and up so using this we can send taps to the screen and the code right here is good enough but on my computer the taps are sent out very fast to the device so that's not what we want so for my computer i have observed that sending out taps every 75 milliseconds works pretty well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delay it by 75 milliseconds so i've got to use time dot sleep and 75 milliseconds is 0 0.075 seconds and that is because sleep takes the number of seconds as an argument so that's pretty much the code and now if we run this it should work so this script will not run in the directory that you have got python installed but you should run it directly through monkey runner so what we are going to do is copy this python file from your python directory and go paste it in the monkey runner directory so i've got this here so now we can run this through monkey runner and it will work fine so let's open the command prompt and change the directory to monkey runners directory copy this and paste it here so we are now operating in monkey runners directory and we can directly run the script through monkey runner so all you've got to do is monkey runner dot bat and the name of your python file that is click automation dot py in my case so hit enter and you see that's running and yep it's running so as you can see there it is the fast taps and right now he's only dealing in singles or doubles or threes but in the later stages you will see that there'll be a lot of fours and sixes and yep that's it this will go on for a while and probably beat this high score of 349 let's keep our fingers crossed so that's it i'll stop this right here so now he'll be bold yep that's that so bye for now guys and i'll see you guys in the next video